Ladies and gentlemen, the Greater Metro Junior Hockey League proudly presents to you the Bradford Rattlers and the new to come to the Civics. First matchup between these two teams. This was originally supposed to be the Bradford Rattlers home opener just a couple of weekends ago, but due to COVID restrictions and players not having a vaccine in time, so this game has been pushed back. It's an unusual start. Glad you have joined us on this Saturday night on ice. Very unusual start. An 8.30 game, and especially on a Saturday, most Rattler games are at 7.30 on a Sunday, but it looks like we're going to change things up, so we're going to have a doubleheader for you Rattler and Jimmy Mitchell fans here tonight. So for tonight's game, the 8.30 start, the Rattlers take on the New Tecumseh Civics, the winless New Tecumseh Civics, as they are 0-7 to start this season. Tomorrow at the regular time, Sunday at 7.30, the Battle of Bradford will begin for the first time this season as the Rattlers will host the Bradford Bulls. Both of those teams expected to be long contenders and able to have long playoff seasons as both of those teams can go all the way. You're looking at Martin Nagy, can play it for Grishatov, his shot and he scores! Oleg Grishatov finding the back of the net. Rattlers are off and running. Oleg Grishatov, the defenseman, scores not even a minute into this contest. And for the New Deck Civics, that's been a theme all season long. This is their eighth game played, still 0-7. The past two games, they've given up goals in the first minute. Rapid Rattlers fresh off coming a 8-3 win over the Knights of Meaford. David Ursak getting some time in net for the Bradford Rattlers as well. Took a relatively scary bump as he got a knee right in the side of the head during that contest. But David's all right. He's in the attendance here tonight. Glad to see David back at the arena. There's a big hit almost after the whistle thrown by Pashensev from New Tecumseh and a gathering of the clans after that hit. That's Andre Matis for the Bradford Rattler shaking up after that hit. And Andre Matis hunched over, heading towards the Rattler bench, being checked over by Maxim Segelnik, 21 for the Rattlers. So it looks like out of all of that, the Civics will get themselves a power play as the only player heading to the penalty box is Vadim Frolov. Frolov, the former Mississauga rep, Triple A player of the GTHL. Heads to the box for a two minutes for roughing. So New Tech looking to rebound after giving up the first goal, not even a minute into the game. Lighting up on the face off is 22, Sincere Toto. For the Civics is able to win that draw, gets played over to the half boards into the blue line held by Mikhail Kornilov, the captain of these New Tech Civics. That puck just got sent wide. Racing back after it is 55 for the Bradford Rattlers. You're looking at Tacoma Ashman. As Schickman's pass got foiled. Broken up by a new tech. Up comes Jacob Campbell. You're looking at him now. Campbell able to weave his way into the zone. A nice pull drag move there. Left it behind his man and no one in a new tech jersey will pick up that puck. But they're back in on the attack. That one held by the glove of netminder Richard Cuey making his Bradford Rattlers debut here tonight. 29 in white, the native of Woodbridge, Ontario. Able to get his first stop here. Toto on the faceoff for the New Tech Civics. Filecheslev pin in for the Rattlers. Mikhail Kornilov, big number four for the New Tech Civics. You see him there on the off wing. That's one of the harder shots in this league, Kornilov does. Toto getting tripped up, but no call. Krasinski unable to get it to the blue line, but they do so here. That shot flood wide of Kiwi. 
Kornilov back on it. He'll get it DDD to the play of Ramier. His quick shot turned away by Kui. Maxim Sigelnik slaps it the length of the ice. Handled by the starting goalie for the New Tech Civics. That is Ethan Matthew, number 72 for New Tech. As you can see him handle that puck. Alexei Raymer gets his way into the zone. His shot kicked out with a purpose by QE. That puck sent down the length of the ice by the latest goal scorer, Oleg Grishatov, with only a few seconds remaining on the Vilenchislav pin and minor. Rick Jackman signaling that he wants him back on the bench. After the penalty has expired, that one gets sent to the length of the ice, and so icing is called on New Tech. Again, we're glad you're with us on this Saturday night. On ice here, unusual start again, 8.30 on a Saturday. This game was originally the Rattlers home over, but had to be rescheduled to this date. 17.02, time remaining in the first period. 12 seconds remaining in the Vilecheslav pin and minor for roughing on the faceoff shorthanded is Rizan Mansurov making his Rattler debut nine in white. That one from Grishatov came from the point blocked away. Mansurov back on after it. Mansur have gone to the blank. Grishatov a shot just went wide. Vyacheslav Pinnins out of the box. We're back to five on five. You're looking at Nikita Sobolev for the New Deck Civics. Number 10 in red. Could get punched back along. Grishatov able to lift it up. And an aerial dump in attempt got to center. Off the glass and right to the play. Just out of the reach of Nagy, but he returns it now. Nagy got a pass to Mansurov. He lost it, Monsero tried to glove that down, but it comes all the way out of the zone. Denis Kabanov in his third game as a Bradford Rattler. Florin Schaller. Got it up to Monsero and a potential three on two developing for the Rattlers. That one just out of reach of Martin Nagy. Has to flip it back to Schaller. Schaller on it. He curls his way through, try to stash it across the ring pass. That one was just intercepted and flipped up and out of play into the Civic bench with a face-off coming inside the Civic zone. Number 20, Andre Mattis after taking that big hit just after the whistle in the opening minute of the first period. Seems to be no worse for the wear and he's back out there on the left wing on the right side of Tacom Ashikman. Number 55 you see there in white for the Rattlers. Just right behind him is Vadim Frolov. A Schickman waved out, Frolov comes in. Face off one by New Tech, it's played to Yuri Shevstov. Shevstov couldn't clear it. Out of the zone, Schaller rushes in to help, pardon me, check that. That was Vyacheslav Pinin. Matis along on the ice as well. That one got by Pavel Rodskov and sent on length of the ice. First after it is Denis Kabanov, the native of Russia. And that one is an icing. Hopefully all the audio levels are good for you viewers back home watching this game here tonight. A 1-0 lead for the Bradford Rattlers against these New Tech Civics. Face off one by New Tech and out they come up the center. You're looking at Nikita Sobolev. Sobolev back after it. He tried to work it back into the slot area. Can't do so. Punched long and intercepted by Julian McCarthy for the Bradford Rattlers. Julian McCarthy played a bit of games last year for the Rattlers the native of Churchill, Ontario. Is that Sandy McCarthy playing in the NHL for teams like Detroit, the Rangers, and the Flames? Buckets turned into the zone. Vyacheslav Pinnins after it. Frolov and him try to connect on these passes. Intercepted, however. Out come the Civics, but a nice hounding effort was made by Maxim Stagelnik. Felix Chernobowski is on the ice, number 22 for the Rattlers. If you've been paying attention last season, he was in those two games against the Bradford Bulls. Chernobowski 
back as a Rattler here tonight. Rattler is able to intercept that pass. A trigger pull never got on route. That one came off the stick of Vyacheslav Pinnon. Pinnon whips one towards the net, but it was wide. Andre Brzezinski tried to pinch over that puck, but it just comes out of the zone. Rattler see the tag back up. New Tech starting off. You're looking at Alexei Ramier. That one was intercepted and turned all the way around. Ranthony Asaris can make a quick pass. And another run up into center out of the reach of any Rattler player there. And so New Tech has to start it from their own zone. You're looking at Presenchev. Pashensev pass, never got to his intended target. That one was intercepted, Pashensev back on it. Mamalidi back on it for a New Tech, the native of Bolton, Ontario. Number 12 you see there for the New Tech Civics. Grishatov back after it, he makes a cross seam pass to find his man, number 18, Florin Schaller. Schaller back in, oh that's a nice move by Schaller on the back end and saying no on that shot was Ethan Matthew. Puck comes over to center, Anthony Asaris. Got it to Oleg Grishatov, the only goal scorer here tonight. 13.30, time remaining, a 1-0 lead for the Rattlers, but they might be in trouble here. A sharp angle shot turned away by Kiwi. Kiwi with a nice save. Uh, it's the Civics had numbers. It was a three-on-one just for a brief moment. And now come the Rattlers. It's Martin Nagy. Martin Nagy goes low, trying to center back in front, looking for his band, but the puck is loose and just getting out of the reach of Rizan Mansurov. Schaller trying to knife down that pass that came from center. Captain of the New Tech Civics, Mikhail Kornilov back after it. He couldn't clear his zone. A tip-in attempt by Schaller off the point shot by Suda just went wide. Anthony Osiris, 14 and white, can play to his defense partner, Daniel Suda, the native of Czech Republic. That pass went right behind Ashkin. That one turned on goal in and out of the glove of Kiwi. Puck got centered right along in front, and that's a terrific pad save going a lateral post to post by Richard Kiwi. Kiwi hasn't been busy, but the few shots he has faced, he has been perfect on all of them. And those are some high quality Scoring chances by the New Tech Civics, Daniel Suda. Get played to Andre Matas, the power player, the power, pardon me, the playmaker slash power forward of the Bradford Rattlers. Try to work his way into the zone, but an interference call to Vadim Frolov. Interference. So with 12.09 to go in this first period, the second power play opportunity for the New Tech Civics. They are 0 for 1 thus far, but they had some great puck movement during their last power play outage. Let's see if they can do it and able to capitalize on a goal here as not, not too much has gone right for the New Tech Civics to start this 2021-22 campaign. Gabriel Mamalidity claims it to Toto. Toto got punched off along the boards. Corner scrum to the blue line. It comes to Captain Kornilov. He looks, plays it to Ramier. Ramier looking for a tip. He got it here, but didn't get on target in time. The Rattlers able to clear it. Ramier and Kornilov will stay on the ice defensively for the Civics, and a bad line change might cost them. Mikhail Kornilov played it to Ramier. Ramier still looking. Has Campbell heading towards the net, but Foto, or pardon me, Toto, able to punch on back for the Civics. Neutral zone passing here. Civics are a little sloppy here right now. That one played to Sobolev. Sobolev's pass was foiled for a bit, but racing on after it is 22 for the Bradford Rattlers. They're looking at him here. That was Felix Chernovalski. The second stint of the Bradford Rattlers for Chernovalski. Ramier can go down along the boards to the captain, Mikhail Kornilov. Kornilov lets go back in down deep to the play of number 10, Nikita Sobolev. Sobolev still on it for New Tech. He'll play it to Kornilov. Kornilov to the blue line. It comes to number seven, Ramier. He tries to go back down low. Back to the play is Samanov. Samanov going down low. You're looking at Sobolev to Samanov. A lot of Russian players on this New Tech Civics team to be expected as most of these teams 
and the GMHL are very European heavy. And that's okay. British Columbia brought us Ethan Matthew, the netminder of the New Tech Civics. He plays it for his defense partner. And now comes Del Balso for New Tech. Pashensev tried to go in a rush. Couldn't get anything there, but Pashensev will try again. Pashensev's pass was intercepted to Suda. And he's able to sprawl his man, number 10, Martin Nagy. Power play has expired. The Civics are 0 for 2. Rattler's penalty kill is 2 for 2. Richard Cuey out of his own goal to play it on the half boards. Trip it up on the play was Monsurov. And so the Rattlers will test out their first power play momentarily. Florin Schaller getting the zone for the Rattlers, trying to make a toe drag move, and he's able to get the puck. He made a beautiful move around Yuri Shevstov. A Schickman to the slot. Grishitov, oh, he just fanned it, but it was loose for a brief moment, touched up by Newtek. And the first line power play unit defensively and forward wise will step onto the ice for these Bradford Rattlers. Jacob Campbell for the Civics will sit for two for tripping. So the Canadian puts his team shorthanded with 9.21 to go in this, the first period. Face off one by Mansurov, the man who drew the penalty. Played it to Schaller. To the blue line, it comes to Martin Nagy, the forward on the defensive position for this power play. Isaris got it to Nagy. Nagy comes to Mansurov. He'll have a sharp angle bid here, and he just missed wide on the glove hand. Anthony Isaris to Martin Nagy. Nagy holds, gives it to the slot. Schaller a shot. That one was deflected off Kornilov and wide. Puck was intercepted and coming out of the zone on the nice dump and attempt was made by Kakarin. Pardon me, that was Denis Nikolev, 44 for the New Tech Civics. The Rattlers have a minute 18 of power play time to work with. You're looking at Martin Nagy skating in with a purpose. Nagy one-handed trying to peel his way to the slot. He'll peel to the corner and look over his options to play it to Anthony Asaris. Back over it comes to Nagy. Nagy, his sharp angle shot was turned away. Big rebound for Schaller, and he scores on the power play. Power play goal for the Bradford Rattlers. They have increased their lead by one. It's 2-0 for the Bradford Rattlers on the rebound goal by Florin Schaller. The Switz Switzerland native cashing in. Tyler Baxter, number 17 for the Bradford Rattlers sent his band to the ground right off the faceoff. Looking at Alexei Brunetsky, number six for the Bradford Rattlers. TDD pass to Phoenix Chernovaski in the skates of Adam Witkowski. Ramier back on it for New Tech. Look at him fly. Ramier going to do it himself. He's punched over against Chernovaski. He's able to slip on by that check. Ramier still on it. He's able to work it into the corner, but it comes to the blue line. The shot came off the stick of 23 for New Tech. That one was loose in the crease area, and the referee has signaled a goal. Lugas drop check. Shot it from the blue line. Not sure if it was tipped on route or stashed in by another player. The Civics are pointing towards number 23. That is Lucas Dropbeck, the one that shot it from the blue line. So drop check's goal. He cuts the lead in half. It is now a 2-1 lead for the Bradford Rattlers.
That one sent down by the New Tech Civics, and so icing is called on New Tech. Tech still back after it. You're looking at Vadim Frolov. Whips it towards goal. Kicked out with a purpose by Ethan Matthew. Out comes New Tech. They're starting back up. Latest goal scorer. Drop check a shot handled by number 29, Richard Cuey. Seven oh four is time remaining in the first period. Civics recently getting on the board. It is now 2-1 for the Bradford Rattlers. Kornilov trying to keep that puck in alive, and he'll do so here. Great hand-eye co coordination there by the Civics captain. Nikolev, his pass to center, got foiled. Anthony Asaris back on it. A chip pass effort by Vyacheslav Pinin. Sent into the zone. Nikayalev back on it for the Civics. A no-look backhander pass to center was intercepted by the Bradford Rattlers. And out comes Oleg Grishatov. Grishatov to center, slapped back in by the Civics captain, Kornilov. And the Rattlers still in possession once more. Nice bat checking, skating ability made by Anthony Osiris. Got it to center, intercepted. Out comes Kornilov for New Tech. Kornilov goes down deep, looking over his options, surveying the scene. He'll give it to the high slot, a quick shot off the glass and wide off the shot by Pazensev. Fanning on a shot there was 27 for New Tech. That is Jacob Campbell. Kornilov got it to Mamaliti. Was intercepted. Osiris over on deep to the play of Pinnon and now to Mulgaylov and his pass was just out of reach and so icing is called on the Rattlers. I beg your pardon, that is Mansurov was unable to get that puck there for the Rattlers, number nine. The native of Russia. He lines up on the faceoff against Daniel Semenov, the Russian native for New Tech, 17 in red. The two centermen battle just for a brief moment. Oleg Grishatov back behind. Anolik backhand. Clearing attempt is made by Bogwash. He's making his Rattler debut here tonight, number 25 for the Bradford Rattlers. Bogwash, the native of Switzerland, 25. For the Bradford Rattlers getting waved out of the faceoff is Bonsurov taking it is Florin Schaller unable to win the zone. So New Tech will start back up. Lucas Drobjek, the latest goal scorer for New Tech, centered that pass, intercepted by Brzezinski, and out comes Florin Schaller. Schaller trying to go wide, split through his man. He'll do so here with Nagy trailing with them. Schaller just missed going high glove over the netminder, Ethan Matthew. Schaller, he's going to try it again. He has Kornilov in front of him. Schaller, a nice pass down low for Nagy, just unable to find his blade in time. Nagy, a nice stutter step move, and he'll do another one here to peel off from a checking Kornilov. Mansurov, he'll trail into the very high slot. Got it back down low, intercepted a nice defensive play made by Nikolev, number 44 for New Tech. Felix Chernovoski, you're looking at 22 in white. For the Bradford Rattlers, the defenseman going low, punched over from Schaller, but it's intercepted. And now back to the play, the Civics and out to center, but racing on back after it is Andre Matis, giving his man a rough ride. That is Sobolev, tried to drag his way in through, but it's intercepted. Civics still back on it. Into the play of Mamalidity. Mamalidity try to work it back, but now it's a Schickman picking it up for Frolov. Frolov has Mikhail Kornilov making a nice defensive play for Newtek, trying to chip it by his own man, can't do so. Frolov 
Back on it for Matez. Down low comes to a Schickman. His shot off the side of the post and carries into the corner where two Rattlers can beat up one Civic player in the corner boards battle. To the blue line it comes to 15. Dennis Kabanov, his shot got through, deflected up and high. But pinching the zone is Daniel Suda, the native of Czech Republic. Daniel Suda still with it, peeling off from a checking play of the captain Cornwall. That one off the stick and glove back down by the Rattlers player number 55, Tacoma Schickman. A Schickman back after it. He tried to play into the slot area, but it's broken up. A Schickman back for Suda. Schaller back on it. Try to work it to Mattis. He'll do so here, waiting out the netminder, Matthew. Vadim Froloff still after it. He has it here. Andre Mattis lost it. Got it back. His shot just up and out of play. Oh, my, what a terrific chance for Andre Mattis. The Czech native nearly regained the two-goal lead for the Rattlers. Just went up and out of play. 3.20. Time remaining in this, the first period. The score is the Rattlers 2, the New Tech Civics 1. Nick Stella for the Bradford Rattlers. We are glad you guys are with us on this Saturday night on ice. Again, not the usual home game start for the Rattlers. But this is originally supposed to be their home opener planned just a couple of weeks ago. I believe it would be the 10th that these teams are supposed to open the GMHL season. COVID restrictions and delays, vaccines were all a factor in that game not taking place, so it was pushed back to this Saturday. And again, there is a game tomorrow here at the Bob, or pardon me, the West Gullenberry Arena between the Bradford Bulls and the Bradford Rattlers. Puck drop at 7.30. Live stream will start at 7 for warm-ups. From the Bradford West Gullenberry Arena, Richard Cuey stops that one and he's going to hang on with 2.43. Time remaining in this first period. A couple players making their Bradford Rattler debut. I've already seen about three out there. One of them's taking the face off. Monsurov, number nine, for the Bradford Rattlers. That one was whipped onto the play of Drobeck. That one was kicked aside. Martin Egg is able to play it to Florin Schaller. Schaller, potential 2 1 1, or pardon me, 3 on 2. Nagy, his pass got turned around into the corner board. Schaller tried to race on back after it. Anthony Saris is punched on back as well as the forward Monsurov. He tries to pull check his man, can't do so. Kornov, a sharp angle drive in, he scores! Oh my heavens! A sharp angle shot fooling Richard Cuey. And Nutek has tied this game up. Pardon me, it wasn't Kornov, it was defense partner Alexei Ramier. Tying it up for Nutek. Two seventeen remained in the first period. The New Tech Civics are back into this game. The score is 2-2 as Schickman trying to regain the lead for the Rattlers. Oh, and he nearly did so there just wide on the glove side of netminder Ethan Matthew. Fladim Froloff back after it for the Bradford Rattlers. That's punched along as Schickman back for the Rattlers. As Schickman peeling off a checking player there. That one was, saw an all, was seen all the way through by Ethan Matthew. Blockered it down with a purpose into the corner, but the Rattler's still on it. A Schickman left it for Frolov, couldn't get a trigger pull in time. A Schickman whips one towards the net, rebound loose for Andre Matis. He stashed it in front of the net mouth, but no one in a Rattler uniform able to retrieve that puck. Speaking of that puck, it got sent down the length of the ice behind center, and so icing is called on the New Tech Civics with a minute 33 to go in the first period. If you're just tuning in now, starting goalies for tonight's game for the Bradford Rattlers, making his Rattler debut, number 29, Richard Cuey, native of Woodbridge, Ontario. For the New Tech Civics, number 72 is Ethan Matthew, the native of British Columbia. We're looking at Florence Schaller. He got it to the high slot. Kicked back along for Kabanov's pass. That one was intercepted and turned away off the nice shot there, coming for number 9, Mansurov. Pavel Rodskov stood up his man at center. That one comes right to the play of the Civics, but the Rattlers, Florin Schaller back on it with Nagy trailing behind him. That one turned on goal, but not covered up by netminder Ethan Matthew. That one played to the blue line. Monolov's pass was intercepted, kicked out to Denis Kabanov. 
Kabanov to Nagy, a nice pass, but Nagy will have to try that pass again, and he'll just carry it out himself. Martin Nagy with under a minute to go when this first period goes wide, trying to stuff it in between the legs. Oh, that was a pretty play if that would have connected. Florin Schaller, Rodeskov calling for the point, uses him here. Big rebound, kicked aside with a purpose by the netminder Ethan Matthew. That one sent down the length of the ice. Referee has his arm up, but he'll put it back down. Icing is waved off with 30 to go in this first period. Maybe one last rushing opportunity for the Rattlers here. Mansurov with Matas with him. Rizvan Mansurov back after it. Mikhail Kornilov got it to the blue line, but not out. That one kept in the zone, yes. 13 seconds to go. That one is towards the front, kicked out with a purpose by Matthew. Off the shot from Matas. Rattler said a few seconds to work with here. Puck is behind the goal. Pin and try to find a Schickman, but it comes up and out of the zone. And that will do it for 20 minutes of play. So after 20, the score is the Rattlers 2, the Civics 2. Rattlers scored two straight. So do the Civics. But well, the Rattlers scored first, and so the Civics with a nice comeback. Don't have the lead just yet, but it is a 2-2 game here at the end of 20. So for Nick Stell, we'll be back after the second period of play. Or pardon me, after the first intermission. We'll be back with the second period of play after this intermission. There we go, I got it.
second period set to begin between the New Tech Civics and the Bradford Rattlers and a goaltending change for the Bradford Rattlers. Richard Cooley is out. Andre Brzezinski is in. For the Bradford Rattlers, both teams up on their feet. Bang and rattling of the boards to start this second period as the Rattlers did score two straight goals in the first period early, followed up by two quick goals late by the New Tech Civics to tie this game up at two goals apiece. Civics back on it. That shot caromed into the slot area, but it's intercepted by the Bradford Rattlers. They're looking at Oleg Grishatov. So Andrei Brzezinski, the Moscow, Russia native, the Rattlers' original starting goalie in the pipes to begin this second period. Schaller took a bump there on Surov back on after it. He lost but the handle of that puck. To the blue line it comes Suda. Looked it back down low for Schaller. Can't use him here. Schaller trying to find a Saris. Can't get him. Mansurov got it to Schaller. Back down low it comes. Wings it on around. Pressured off by Kornilov. And so Grishtov plays it to the Slada. Rebound shot attempt blocked and up and out of play. That shot block came from Denis Nikolev. With just over a minute elapsed into the second period. Again, if you're just joining us, the Rattlers scored two straight in the first, followed up by two straight by the Civics to get to this point where we're at right now, a 2-2 tie here at the Bradford West Goldenberry Arena. Glad everyone has joined us here for Saturday night on ice. And now we're looking at potential 2-1-1 developing for New Tech, but a great defensive read was made by Felix Chernovaski and a 2-1-1 for the Rattlers. Can they connect here? But that shot was off the glove of Ethan Matthew. Using his quick speed is Braden Wenlock. Wenlock couldn't get that puck to, to sit down. As that one was bobbling all over his blade, unable to handle and control that bobbling puck. So you're looking at Phoenix Cherlowski. He got it to Vadim Frolov. They're looking at him now, 13 for the Bradford Rattlers. He's gonna stop on a dime and whip it to the front area. Can't find anyone in the white uniform there. Civics hounding over the Rattlers. A Schickman got it for Froloff, looking for the one-timer, but he unloads one here, handled and juggled a bit by Ethan Matthew. Ethan Matthews looks sharp in the uh, bunch of chances he has faced here tonight. If it wasn't for Ethan Matthew, this would have been a way greater score than just 2-2. Two -two. Face off one by the Rattlers, a turnaround shot off the stick of number 25, Bogwash. Bogwash taking his Rattler home debut tonight. You're looking at him now, number 25. He'll elect to play it to number 15, Denis Kabanov, the Russian native. That one went off the side of the net, but played to Pavel Rodskov. Try to flip it out, can't do so. Rodskov got it off the boards to the play. Of the HSLF pin in his quick shot turned out with a purpose and deflected up and out of play. So we got 17.25 time remaining. In this second period, again, still a tie at two between these two teams. Rattlers gain control of it. It's Schaller. He'll look for Roskov. Pavel Roskov going low, looking for a tip. He got it on the play. A nice active hand eye coronation made by Mansurov, number nine for the Bradford Rattlers, the Russian native. Anthony Saras and Oleg Grishatov up onto the ice for the Rattlers with 17-15 to go in the second period. On Surov on the faceoff, one at four, Nagy. Nagy pinned up against the boards, you see that there. Multiple players come in to help on this half boards battle, no one standing on the blue line, that puck's able to escape the Civic Zone. 
And that allows the Civics to escape with that puck. A big rebound off the blocker of Andre Brzezinski, allowing the Rattlers to have a potential 2 on 1. Monsurov, nice pace to Nagy. His shot handled and covered by Ethan Matthew as Nagy hits his stick along the boards as that was a prime scoring chance for the Bradford Rattlers, but the netminder Ethan Matthews having none of that, and he says no and shuts the door. On one of the Bradford Rattlers, most lethal goal scorers, take to say lethal goal scorers in this league. Face off one, the captain Mikhail Kornilov got out to the blue line, but not out. Grishatov's shot was tipped on route by a Shikman. A Shikman being hounded by Denis Nikolev. Matas punched over by Ramir. The pardon of those, Nikolev again. The captain of the Civics, Kornilov, back after the half boards battle, gets skipped over on a nice shoveling attempt by Sobev. He can't get it out. Ash Shikman, his shot, got into the mask area of Ethan Matthew, and he's a little shaken up on that after that shot. Some goalies in this league don't wear the protective plastic guard that hangs just under the neck of all goaltender masks. They're not mandatory, but they do help from instances just like that. That puck got Ethan Matthew in the collarbone area. And if you would have had that protective plastic dangling down over the mask, wouldn't have been a problem. I know Mark andre Fleury I believe he's the only goalie in the NHL who uses that piece of equipment. Just a little fun little fun fact out there for you. If you look at the other end of the ice, I do believe Andre Basinski is wearing the same piece of equipment as well. Really hard to see because you know they're clear, right? And we're pretty far away from the Rattlers end of the ice. So anyway, back to the actual game here. 1540. To go in the second period, it is a 2-2 tie at the West Gwilinberry Arena. You're looking at Andre Matas. Matas on a wraparound attempt there was loose, loose for a brief moment, but able to hang on is Ethan Matthew. Both teams able to make line changes defensive and offensively. Vyacheslav Pinin on the ice there. Maxim Sigelnik steps on as well. Dennis Kabanov and Daniel Suda will be on defense. Along with Bogwash, 25 for the Bradford Rattlers. That one is punched over by Suda. You're looking at him now as he has it. DDD pass to Kabanov was intercepted to the red line and back in, but the Rattlers are offside. They had to tag back up. One of the goal scorers tonight, number 70, Alexei Ramier, his shot on goal handled into the breadbasket of Andre Brzezinski and no further play coming off that. Glad everyone is here on this Saturday night on ice between the Rattlers and the Civics. A 2-2 tie. Just five minutes elapsed into the second frame. Maxim Sigelnik. Able to get that pass from his own zone. Rattler is able to nullify the clear out attempt. As the Civics finally get that puck out of the zone, Daniel Suda sends it back in. Vyacheslav Pinin hits his bane to the glass. That was Pashensev, a shot from the blue line coming by Dennis Kabnov, was turned aside by Matthew. Nice keep in by the Rattlers. Vyacheslav Pinin, the forward on defense at the moment. Pinin gets a rough ride from Ramir. Kornilov still back after it. Or pardon me, Ramir still back after it. You're looking at him now, number seven for a new tech with a burst of speed. Already has one here tonight, looking for two. Kornilov just, or pardon me, that's Ramir overskating the puck. Pardon me, both those players. They look quite similar from this vantage point as they're both on the ice. Both players over six foot one. You can tell that's Mikhail Kornilov by the big C on the front of his jersey, the captain of the Civics, number four. Unable to clear that puck out, a three-on-one for the Rattlers. That's Schaller getting it back, and a great save was made by Ethan Matthew going post-to-post -post 
Great lateral movement there by the BC native able to keep this at a 2-2 tie. Monserov on the faceoff for the Bradford Rattlers against the Civics. Daniel Samanov. Schaller back on it. Florin Schaller, his sharp big shot was turned away with the glove and a little windmill effort made. By Ethan Matthew. Mansarov from the faceoff, won by the Civics. Civics in the second period have done a very good job on winning these defensive zone faceoffs, allowing them to quickly get up them to the ice, start their breakout, and try to get a scoring chance here, and that's just what they're doing. Civics are applying pressure. Mikhail Kornilov going back in deep, but it's intercepted, and most of their zone time hasn't lasted for long as dodging a hit there was Martin Nagy on a 2 one one hooked from behind and touched up by the Civics in a power play coming. Uh, like I was saying, whenever the Civics do get offensive zone time, it's not for long. They try to make one too many passes as you see the captain of the Civics, Mikhail Kornilov, head to the penalty box. Two minutes for hooking. Rattlers on their third power play of the day. They are one for two with 13-18 to go in the second period. And when the Civics have the offensive zone time, yeah, it doesn't last too long. Most of the time they try to force a pass that's not there. They try to force a play that's not there. And as a coach... For a hockey team, that's just got to drive you crazy. It makes your hair turn gray the amount of times you see that. So if you're the Civics, when you get the puck in the zone, just hang on to it for a couple more seconds and just fire it on net and just see what happens. Never a bad play to get the puck on goal. As we can see if the Bradford Rattlers can do so here on their power play. A great job is made by Toto, pinning, up the, pinning himself and the puck up against the boards to kill a lot of time. As they are penalty killing here, five on four. Four minute, 15 if the Rattlers can't score here. Breaking the zone is Maxim Sigelnik. Look out, he almost got lined up there, but ailing off was Kornilov. Punch into the corner boards and taking it is Maxim Sigelnik. Brenetsky leaned into one, handled by the breadbasket of the netminder, Matthew. Twelve eighteen to go in the second period. Still a 2-2 tie between the Civics and the Bradford Rattlers. Face-off won by the Rattlers. It comes to Saris. His shot deflected on route. Kicked down with the purpose by Matthew. Schauler. It comes over to Mansurov. Surov trying to go to the point, but it's just out of the reach of Anthony Saris. Cyrus found Grishatov, out he comes. Oleg Grishatov in the corner, stops on a dime. He'll pass it to Osiris, a quick chip to Nagy. Martin Nagy works his way in, shoots, and just missed high glove. That one rings back around. Anthony Osiris keeps his own alive. A nice stretch pass over to Nagy. Martin Nagy stopping away from his band. He's still on it. Ten and white, trying to work it back down low. Can't do so. Nagy pinned up against the board. Shally able to hang on to it. A quick chip effort made by Grishatov. It was loose for a brief moment and covered and handled by Ethan Matthew when no further play. Just nine seconds of power play time the Rattlers have to work with. 11.26 remaining on the game clock in the second period. Again, a, sky, a tied game at 2-2. Two to two. Mansurov on the faceoff for the Rattlers. Able to win it to Anthony Saras. Plays it for Grishatov. His shot got through and delayed penalty off the rebound. Off the carry on him off the boards. Carried right in front of the net mode. And the Bradford Rattlers will get a power play goal resulting off the crazy bounce attempt. First in line is Monsurov. I believe he will get credited for the goal. And since Mikhail Kornilov's penalty was still on the board, another penalty was going to be called against New Tech once they touched up the puck, but the Rattlers able to score off said play. 
So the Kornilov penalty has expired off of that goal. And heading right to the box are the New Tech Civics once again. The Rattlers off a power play. He apologized about the camera, how it goes over to this kind of menu screen. Maybe apologize if sometimes the screen kind of like hits on that like menu thing. Don't know why it does it. Try tinkering with these settings a eh? before this game started to see if we have figured it out, but apparently not. So we do apologize if that screen does pop up the on the occasional time. We'll try it to quickly. The, the quick way to fix it, as soon as that screen comes up, you just tap the screen and then boom, the screen's gone, you know? So out comes New Tech. A shot off the glass and just wide. Martin Nagy back on it. He looks to start off for the Rattlers power play. is one for three here tonight. Nagy tried to stash his way through a maze of bodies. Oleg Grichatov on a nice drop pass to Mansurov. He did get credited with the last goal for the Bradford Rattlers. Pardon me, I haven't put it on the score clock just yet. Martin Nagy going cross ice, trying to find his man, can't do so. And Surov trying to stash it for Nagy, he'll do so here. It comes Anthony Saris, blocked down by Schaller. He's on the back end. Florin Schaller to the blue line, can't find Saris. That one comes out of the zone. Anthony Osiris, a bad line change by Newtek, allows the Rattlers easy entry. That one comes into the front just wide, may have been blocked partially. Monsurov back after, look at him weave his magic. Monsurov, the latest goal scorer going around, putting it towards the slot and an open net. For a Schickman. Oh my heavens, Monsurov with some poetry on the ice. Allows the Rattlers to get two straight power play goals. That they have regained their two goal lead. It is four to two Rattlers. Face off one by the New Tech Civics. Quickly intercepted by the Rattlers. That one chipped off the boards down to the ice and handled by netminder Ethan Matthew. Puck turned on goal, intercepted. Kicked out to the corner. Adam Woodkowski, number 68, able to work it back into the corner. Chipped into the front. Julian McCarthy on the ice has his fourth line trying to stir something up as well for the Rattlers. Tyler Baxter, Julian McCarthy, Adam Woodkowski on the ice right now forward-wise for the Bradford Rattlers. Nine twenty time remaining in the second period. 4-2 for the Bradford Rattlers. Ramier slaps the puck down low. Andre Brzezinski plays it to Nikita Sakno. Off the stick of Adam Witkowski. Taking it back is Tyler Baxter. Pressured off. Witkowski still on it. Gets hauled down, but no call. Pavel Rodskov skates by Julian McCarthy. Has him trailing behind him. He picks up his spot. His quick turnaround shot by Rodskov was handled in the breadbasket of Ethan Matthew. And both chains can make some both teams can make some line changes. We're glad that you guys have come to watch this Saturday night game here in the GMHL between the Rattlers and the Civics. The unusual start time on a home game for the Bradford Rattlers. We're normally used to 7.30 starts on Sunday nights. This time, 8.30 on a Saturday. Oh my, there's a physical play. Felix Chernovowski and Jacob Campbell collided along the half boards. No quarter given and none asked between these two teams. You can tell the Civics are a little frustrated playing with some urgency here tonight as they do not want to go down another game. 
That would make it eight straight losses to the Civics if they were to fall tonight. They're still a half of the second period and a full third period to play here tonight. Alexei Brunetsky able to find his band, Vyacheslav Pinin. Pinin made a drop pass. No one in a Rattler uniform able there to be there. A three on two developing for the Rattlers. Coming at his Voto, his shot blocker down with a purpose by Brunetsky. Maxim Sigelnik to the corner it comes. Pardon me, to the blue line rather. And Vyacheslav Pinin able to go cross size and just offside was Pinin. That's Bogush. Brought that puck into the zone just offside with 7.44 to go in the second period. The Rattlers four, the Civics two here on this Saturday night on ice at the Bradford West Schoolberry Arena between the Civics and the Bradford Rattlers. Face off one, Florin Schaller after it for the Rattlers. It's punched into the corner, Monsurov. He's with it there, number nine, has a goal here tonight as well in his home debut. Here in Bradford, lots of Rattler players making their home debut as they're finally able to get the players they've originally signed. Some players stuck overseas on the borders, COVID restrictions, everything like that, the whole process. Seems like the Rattlers are finally getting the team they originally put together back just a couple weeks ago after training camps. Monsurov with some great forechecking ability. Got to Schaller, back to Monsurov on the backhand, and he's able to cut back to the forehand and stash it in on a marvelous goal to make it a 5-3 lead for the Bradford Rattlers. Oh my, what a goal. Monsurov picks up his second of the night. And a three-goal lead for the Rattlers. It is 5-2. Campbell on the faceoff for New Tech, unable to win it. The Rattlers still quickly regain possession. A theme you'll see here for these Bradford Rattlers, once they score a goal, they almost always win the faceoff right after the goal. As whenever the Rattlers score, they want to get that puck right back. Good physical check down low into the corner. Andre Matis tried to sought that one down. Oh, pardon me, that is a man on the New Tech Civics knocking that down. That is Mamalidini. Rizvan Mansurov having himself quite a game here tonight. Number nine for the Bradford Rattlers. Two goals. Baxter getting tied up with a man for the New Tech Civics. And here we go. We got a scrap. Baxter throwing haymakers and connecting physically. First scrap of the year between these two teams. Baxter throwing bombs. And down to the ice they go. Wachowski being restrained by one of the linesmen there. That was rather unsuspected, wasn't it? So I believe the rule in the GMHL is after a fight, both players are suspended for how long? I do not know. I believe it's either one to three games. I can't remember the last time I saw a fight in this building or in this league. I think the, the first one that comes to my mind was, I believe, in the 2018 season against the Ville Marie Pirates. The, uh, the hit came in the neutral zone along where the Civics would enter the boards just to the trying to get my angles right here just to the left of center ice 
Right now, was hit was thrown, and that's where the fight happened. I know it was the Pirates. I do know that, but yeah, that was that was the 19th, 2018. That was the last time I remember seeing a fight, and I think at that time, that was the first fight I've seen in five years. As gloves never really drop in this league, but when it does, oh boy, it's a sight to see. And who says fighting doesn't belong in hockey? So it was Adam Watkowski, or pardon me, that was number 17, Tyler Baxter, I believe, who was the one dropping the gloves. Let me just double check that one for you. Yes, that was number 17, Tyler Baxter, just trying to figure out who he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with. Just bear with us for a moment, people. Back to the action here. Sorry, watching through the uh, replay, can't quite make out who was the player on New Tech. We'll get the official signal here. So 27 for the New Tech Civic, Jacob Campbell. Went toe to toe with Tyler Baxter, 17 for the Bradford Rattlers. And again, once they fight, automatic disqualification from the match. And after that play, a high sticking call. Oh, pardon me. It was Tyler Baxter and Campbell lined up on the face off together. And after the puck was dropped, a high stick by Tyler Baxter into the face of Jacob Campbell. And that was originally going to be the call. And that then resulted and to those two players dropping the gloves for their respective sides. I hope I did a good job explaining what just uh, what just happened. If I didn't, well, I'm sorry. Maxim Segelnik on the faceoff. Short-handed are the Bradford Rattlers for a minute 15. Time remaining on the game clock is 540. So still some time if you're new tech. Just over a minute to go on the power play to get some... Let's get some puck movement going. Move that puck around, try to get a cycle, try to tire out these four defenders on the Bradford Rattlers and maybe you'll find an open lane and an open net, who knows? Rattlers doing a quick job allowing Nuke Tech to get none of what I've just been saying. And that's good for the Rattlers' sake. Maxim Segelnik, like a very good penalty killer he has shown. We're looking at the captain of the Civics, Mikhail Kornilov. He's able to dump it in deep, it gets played back around. It just comes all the way back down the length of the ice. Again, no icing as the Rattlers are on the penalty kill for only 24 more seconds. Mamaliti intercepted as Schickman dropped it on back. A carry on effort made by Bugwash. He rang it off the pipe. What a chance shorthanded for the Bradford Rattlers as Schickman hits the deck. That gets punched back along. Number 16 for New Tech, Pashensev skates it down into the zone. The penalty was served by Julian McCarthy. He's out of the box and heads to the bench. Civic's back on it, all alone in the slot. They're trying to make a one-time backhand effort. Can't do so here. Up it comes to Vadim Frolov. Frolov got it to Andre Matis. He's able to skate it through the net both and turn it along. Handled by the New Tech Civics, and they'll try to start out. Nikita Sabotka, his shot from line, and he will score. Pardon me, Nikita Sobolev going low glove on Andre Brzezinski. Seemed to caught him by surprise, and so the Civics get one back. It is five to three.
So just under four minutes to play, the Civic has cut the lead to two goals. As we get a whistle and a delayed call, and what have we here? So that is number seven for the Bradford Rattlers, Pavel Rodskov, the native of Moscow, Russia, heading to the box, I believe. Oh, let's listen. Not quite sure what the penalty was off the PA system here at the Bradford West School and Barry Arena. So let's just kind of narrow it down. It was a penalty, you got two minutes for it. Kind of throw a dart, see what it lands on, you know what I mean? Nonetheless, the fourth power play opportunity for the New Tech Civics, a perfect chance to cut the lead within one. Pardon me, hitting from behind was the call. Normally those can be double minors, so it can be five minute and a game, followed by later suspensions after the game. Quick shot handled off the mask and it fell right into the glove of Andre Brzezinski, a fortunate bounce for the Russian netminder for the Rattlers. Just joining us here tonight, Ethan Matthew started all the periods for the New Tech Civics. First period was start by number 29, Richard Cuey, the native of Woodbridge, Ontario, was pulled after the first period to get his, to get his feet in the water, we will call it. He was then replaced in the second period by Rattler starting goalie Andre Brzezinski. And some trouble with Andre Brzezinski's helmet as that puck originally hit the mask of Andre Brzezinski and so some repairs are going to have to be done for a brief moment. Perhaps if they can't fix it in time they'll elect to throw Richard Cuey back into the net until they can get this mask situation figured out as both teams seem to be have sent to their respective benches. This will kind of act as a, a brief timeout, as you will. How long this will last, I have no idea. Not for long, as Vyacheslav Pinin will skate over the repaired mask of Andre Brzezinski to Andre. So it looks like Brzezinski is ready, and so are the teams. Okay, face off one by the Civics. They are still on the power play for a minute 30. Ramier back on it, he got out to the sod area, kicked out with a purpose. Mamoliti back on it quickly, rushing after it is Anthony Osiris. He hacks over his band, but the Civics still with possession. Kornilov, he's unable to keep the zone alive. He has to skate on back with three minutes to go in the second period. A minute 13 to go into the power play for Nutek. Just offside with Lucas Drobjek. And so offsides is called on the Civics with just four seconds under three minutes to play in this second period. Score is 5-3 for the Bradford Rattlers. Civics are the latest team with a goal here tonight. Slap shot by Nikita Sobolev. The Moscow Russia native able to cut the lead within two for New Tech, and they still have a minute left at power play time to cut it within one. Let's see what they do here, and it's not starting off the way they would hope off that faceoff. As Toto send it back to the blue line, but no one was there on said blue line. Puck to center, a break chance maybe to the play of Daniel Sebinov, but a nice diving effort was made by Asaris. Daniel Semenov needs a touch back up on side as well as Nikita Sobolev. And they'll like to go for a line change after all that. Taking a sweet time in his own zone was number 22, Chief Felix Chernovaski. As soon as a little bit of pressure came to him, he just slapped it as far as center. And that might allow the Rattlers to get a shorthanded opportunity here for a brief moment. Maxim Sigelnik punned up against the boards by Ramier. As a goal here tonight, number seven for the New Tech Civics. Power play set to expire for the New Tech Civics. And coming out of the box is Pavel Rodskov. We are back to five on five. At the blue line, Kornilov quickly got it back down low. Sharp angle shot went wide. 
maybe flexed over the purpose by Brunetsky. He's able to kick that one to the corner. Chernovaski and Nikita Sobolev battling to the corner. That one comes behind the net. First get there is number six, native of Ukraine, Alexei Brunetsky. All along the slot and unable to get a trigger pull in time was well luck. Out comes Pavel Rodskov, the defenseman, trying to make a nice move. Rodskov one-handed and backward skating on that play. Anthony Asaris heads to the slot, got used here off the shot pass. Shot pass coming from Ansurov. That one fluttered on route and handled by the netminder Ethan Matthew. The cover and halt of play with just a minute, two seconds to go. In the second period, Rattlers possess a 5-3 lead over the Civics from New Tecumseh. Toto on the faceoff for the Civics. Mansurov for the Rattlers. Mansurov wins it. Anthony Osiris, a minute to go in this middle frame of regulation time. Anthony Osiris at the blue line shot, never got through, was blocked, picked up by number eight, Sebastian Del Belzo. The Canadian native able to punch it to the Rattlers zone, but quickly slapped in from center. And Florin Schaller, number 18 for the Rattlers, skates out with under 40 to go. Florin Schaller trying to drop it for Monsurov, gets held up on the play, and a penalty will be called against the Civics. Martin Neg to Anthony Aceres. So oh, that's a nice move. On the backhand, big rebound. It comes to the play, and that one scores. Oleg Grishatov. Scores on the delay call, but I don't believe that goal will count. I am just as confused as you are. The so number 16 for New Tech heads to the box, two minutes for holding. That is Pashensev. So the Rattlers will get a power play. They have 21 seconds to go in this period. So if they don't score here, the power play will continue into the third period. But Oleg well, Grishatov shot that puck. It was a delayed penalty against the New Tech Civics. That puck was stopped, but it was loose. That's the key thing. It was loose. Never fully possessed by the New Tech Civics. That one went off the post. Went off the netminder, Matthew, off the post and then cross the line from our vantage point as that will take care of the second period. I don't know, a lot of crazy things have happened this game. I'm just trying to keep to catch up and narrate them to you guys to the best of my ability. We are all trying here tonight. So after 40 minutes of play, the score is the Bradford Rattlers 5, the new Tecumseh Civics 3. Nick Stella will be back with you for a third period of action after this.
second period, uh, pardon me, third period of action set to get underway here tonight. Between the Rattlers and the Civics, puck is dropped and away we go. Anthony Asaris, first back after it for these Bradford Rattlers, picked up. By Martin Egg, would be quickly lifted to Anthony Asaris and the Rattlers up the skate on back after it. Puck intercepted just momentarily. Rattlers having a little bit of trouble breaking out of their own zone. Still on a power play for a minute 10. That one whipped down the length of the ice by Captain Mikhail Kornilov. No icing on the play as the Civics are shorthanded. Minute to go in the power play. You're looking at Anthony Asaris. Skating into the zone for the Rattlers. Has Schaller behind him. Unable to use him here. Try to do it himself. But that one didn't work just the way he wanted it to. Oleg Grishatov keeping the zone alive. Grishatov, a nice chip pass for Martin Nagy. Just out of his reach. Mikhail Kornilov got it, but not out. Kornilov's pass was intercepted. Out comes Newtek. Perhaps shorthanded chance here. Daniel Samanov going wide. Trying to stuff an attempt there. But a nice defensive play coming back was Anthony Aceris. Saris dropped it for Nagy. Martin Nagy, out he comes for the Rattlers. Going behind the net. Whips back around. Try to play it to the blue line. Can't do so here. That one is just creamed up and out of play. Just tuning in now. 18.33, time remaining and there's a new, fresh third period between the Rattlers and the Civics. Score for the Rattlers, five for the Civics, three. Power play set to expire. We are back to five on five. Rattlers ain't able to get anything going on that power play. Vadim Frolov had it, lost it. Picked up by 16, Pashensa was able to slap it from the line. Handled by Felix Chernovaski. He's able to skate it out to Ashikman. Ashikman able to dodge a check there, but he's still on it. Try to play for Folov, can't do so. Ashikman back after it for 55 and white. Chernovaski from the blue line, that shot never got through. Picked up by Ashikman, he stops on the blue line and looks over his options. Plays it back to Vernetsky and now to Chernovaski. Neutral zone dump and attempt by the Civics. Felix Chernovaski, all alone as a Schickman, try to use him here, just got off of his stick. The captain, Mikhail Kornilov, sends his man to the ice, trying to clear the zone, and they will do so here. Sebastian Del Balzo dropped it on back, a quick wrister trigger pull. Came off the stick of number 12, Gabriel Mamlidi. Maxim Sigelnik flipped it just wide of the cage, Vyacheslav Pinnin back after it for the Rattlers. Daniel Suda shot deflected just up and high, maybe getting a piece of that one was the netminder, Ethan Matthew. But Kyle Kornilov goes D to D. Denis Nikolaev getting it up and out of the zone. Icing is called on New Tech with 16.51 to go in the third period. The final frame of regulation time. The Rattlers up by two, it's five. To three for the Bradford Rattlers. Oleg Rishitov and Anthony Cyrus come onto the ice for the Rattlers. Martin Nagy, Mansurov, and Schaller. That's the five head coach Rick Jackman will use here with 16.40 to go in this third period. Anthony Cyrus going down to Rivan Mansurov. Cyrus. Back down low, that puck goes into the opposite corner, kept alive. Isaris trying to keep the line, unable to do so here. Grishatov picking it back up for the Rattlers. Martin Nagy back to Grishatov. Grishatov going wide, Monserov shot, big rebound. Nagy just couldn't quite get that puck to settle down on him. Took that shot on a rather awkward angle. Nagy pinned up against the boards by Mikhail Kornilov. Kornilov getting that puck out and out of the zone to center. Saris, nice connection pass off of Nagy. Anthony Saris gets tripped up. That might even be a penalty shot. 
Let's see the decision. Tripping will be the minor. Anthony Osiris was all alone on a breakaway, but if you're a new tech, you might be okay with that penalty because that would allow the Civics have a pretty good penalty kill. Able to clear just two minutes of penalty killing time instead of taking that chance on that breakaway where anything can happen. Tripping is the minor. Rattlers get their sixth, or pardon me, their fifth power play of tonight's contest. Max James to get a look at the blue line on Derbzinski. Got it towards the goal, but it's blocked by 23 in the high slot. That is Lucas Derbjek, who has a goal here tonight. I believe he got the first new tech civic goal. Resulting in his team mounting a little bit of a comeback in the second period. They were down by two, came back and scored two. And the Rattlers come back with three unanswered goals. And then New Tech getting one right back to make it three goals for New Tech and five for Bradford. Look out an injured player behind the net. That is Vadim Frolov. My apologies, I did not see what transpired. Let me just rerun the replay here to see exactly what happened. So a Schickman was cutting towards the goal and he was crossing paths with Vadim Frolov. Frolov picked up the puck from the netminder. Or pardon me, a Schickman picked up the puck from the netminder and crossing paths with him was Vadim Frolov and it was a checking effort by a player from New Tech allowed a straight stick to go right into the face of Vadim Frolov and that's what happened just behind the play. Still 43 seconds of power play time to work with. The past couple of games, injuries seem to have plagued the Bradford Rattlers. Two players went down in the game against Ville Marie and already won here tonight. Hopefully Vadim Frolov is no, nothing too serious. As I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Frolov back on the ice here later tonight. Sharp angle shot handled by the breadbasket of Ethan Matthew and no further play. 14 minutes, 19 seconds, time remaining in the third period, 21 seconds of power play time to work with for the New Tech Civics. Rattlers throw on their first power play unit. Oleg Grishatov, the big defenseman standing at 6'6", likes to sit in front of the net, causing a screen effect in front of the netminder, Ethan Matthew. Rattlers just need to get some shots on goal. They might do so here, Florence Schaller and a prime scoring opportunity. Nothing happening here, an interference minor is assessed to the New Tech Civics. We will have a five on three for Bradford. Won't last that long as Mikhail Kornilov comes out of the penalty box in five seconds. Mansur up on the faceoff for the Bradford Rattlers to start this five on three and a clean win. Martin Eggy, DVD to Anthony Aceris. Aceris got to Mansur off. That one was a little bit loose. One bound is expired. Instead of five on three, we got five on four. A civic player got a stick in the face and that will wipe out the Rattlers power play. That was Alexei Ramier. Who had the tying goal that made it 2-2 early, or pardon me, late in the first period. So Martin Nagy will head off for two. A minor penalty. High sticking calls. If there was blood drawn off that high stick, it would have been a four-minute double minor to Martin Nagy. Thankfully for the Rattlers' sake, it wasn't just a minor penalty for high sticking. And so we got some four-on-four -four action here coming up. 
Vadim Frolov has a Schickman, uses it here, trying to stuff an attempt there. was loose for a brief second. Nice keeping by Chernovetsky. Down low comes to a Schickman, sharp and hill shot coming way out of his net was Ethan Matthew to make that turn away save. Rattler's trying to clear it up, but they can't do so. A long stretch pass to Toto. Toto on a curling attempt, maybe overskating the puck, but all alone in the slot as Mikhail Kornilov fakes the shot, takes it and scores! Mikhail Kornilov, the captain of the Civics. Four on four goal, cuts the lead in thin one. It is five to four. I believe a timeout has been called by the Civics. That was the signal by the back referee. Looks like none of that will happen. Maybe I'm seeing things, I'm not too sure. But nonetheless, the Civics have once again seemed to claw their way back into the game. Once it hit 2-0, you know, I think uh, a lot of people would safe to say that due to the Civics being 0-7 in the year that People started maybe to write them off as soon as Rattler did two goals for the New Tech Civics, proving none of that to be true. They come back and tie the game. Rattlers once again soar three straight to make it 5-3. Everyone, including myself, would count the New Tech Civics out, but New Tech coming back and scoring two unanswered goals, and the lead is now within one. And you have to say the score for the Rattlers would have been much higher if it wasn't for the great goalkeeping ability made by Ethan Matthew. The native of British Columbia, nutminder for the Civics, number 72 in red. You'll be seeing a lot of him tonight. Anthony Saris, we're still four on four for 35 more seconds. Martin Nagy hits the deck on a physical checking play. Back in comes the Civics. Working his way in was Daniel Semenov with the Rattlers intercept and start out. Mansurov. Try to find Grishatov back in deep, but he can't do so here. Four on four for 15 more seconds until a brief power play for the Civics. Stopping on a dime is Nikita Sobolev. He has a goal here tonight. It was the third goal for the New Tech Civics, but the Rattlers are back in a sharp angle shot off the stick and turned aside into the corner by Ethan Matthew off the shot from Maxim Sigelnik. Sigelnik got a rough ride into the corner. He got a uh, high stick, the Civic player, and good sportsmanship by Maxim Sikelnik to punt to, you know, give him a little tap on the shoulder saying, hey man, my bad. That was unintentional. Nike out of the box, we're back to five on five. Pernetti got it from the blue line, tried to whip it back, a shot by Sikelnik. Or pardon me, that one came off the stick of Vyacheslav Pinin. Chernovetsky back on it, a whistle and a hand pass has been called. That puck will, I believe, come into the Rattler zone. Or just outside into the neutral zone. 11.29 to go. In the third period, the final frame of regulation time. The Civics, don't count them out just yet. They are crawling back into this one. It is 5-4, with still a half a period remaining. Here on this Saturday night on ice, the Civics and the Rattlers meeting for the first time this season. New Tech looking for their first win of the season. They are 0 for 7 in their last seven outages. Rattlers undefeated. They sit at 3 and 0 with wins over teams like the Knights of Meaford and the Ville Marie Pirates. And of course, on their home opener, South Muskoka Shield went down on the hands of the Bradford Rattlers, quite handily. Look at that chip and effort made by Maxim Sigelnik. He has been one of the more noticeable players for these Bradford Rattlers, donning their home white jerseys. Civics coming to town wearing their road reds. That quick shot was swallowed up by the netminder Andre Brzezinski. We were just tuning in now. The first period, the starting goalie for the Rattlers is number 29, Richard Cuey, the native of Woodbridge, Ontario. And coming into the cage to start the second period was Andrei Brzezinski, native of Moscow, Russia, formerly playing for the Rattlers the past two seasons. 
other end of the ring, Ethan Matthew, 72 in white for New Tech, has started all periods. Native of British Columbia, you're looking at Florence Schaller. Can he get back in deep to the play of Ashikman? Pavel Rodskov got it in deep. Andre Mates back on it. Got it to the slot area. Handled by Rodskov. Shot was deflected loose and wide. Scramble in front of the net. A backhander effort made by Ashikman. Comes over to Martin Nagy. Fresh on the penalty box. Pardon me, that's Vadim Frolov. Rattlers throwing everything but the kitchen sink at netminder. Ethan Matthew, nothing has actually gotten towards him. It has all been blocked. That Frowler shot, and he scores! Vadim Frolov doubles down here tonight. He restores the two-goal Rattler lead. It is 6-4 for Radford. center ice and they have done so here I believe after every goal scored for and against Rattlers win the faceoff right after so just a little stat and a little tidbit to watch out for as this season continues we're seeing Anthony Aceris weave his way through the whole team it seems like of the New Tech Civics just no one there at the right time to capitalize on the great effort made by Anthony Aceris a three on one for the Rattlers at Schaller with Mornev and Aceris. Nice dash in pass. Oh my heavens. Tick, tack, goal. Florin Schaller from Ansurov. And I believe joining the rush as well was defenseman Anthony Aceris, who will pick up a point as well. I had a feeling that was coming. Great chances on both ends of the rink. So the Rattlers getting the best one of them all. And you see on that faceoff right there, the Rattlers are able to win that faceoff. It's the Civics picking up that puck off the faceoff. So a rare center ice faceoff loss for the Rattlers. So it's the Rattlers with a 7-4 lead. That one had a big rebound off the blade of Ethan Matthew, the netminder for New Tech, and out comes his team on a break -in. Sean back on it. Daniel Samanov trying to punch it down low, a backhander pass by Alexei Bernetsky. Vyacheslav Pinin got it for Felix Chernovaski. Out he comes. Nice pickup effort was made by Bugwash. Turned it into the corner, picked up McCarthy back in on after it. He's paired up on the line here tonight. Sigelnik. Try to punch it for Pinnon just wide of him. Captain Mikhail Kornilov back after it. For the New Tech Civics. Nice stutter step play and a physical effort made by Julian McCarthy. Sent his man to the ground. A big carry on attempt. That took a crazy bounce off a stanchion behind the goal. No damage done for the Bradford Rattlers as it remains a 7-4 lead for Bradford. Seven fifty-five. time remaining in this final frame of regulation. Glad you're with us on this Saturday night from the Bradford West Goldenberry Arena to take on some GMHL action between the Civics and the Rattlers. Kornilov shot from the point was deflected en route, but just wide of the target. Daniel Suda, try to get it for Vadim Frolov. Julian McCarthy, number three, you see there for the Bradford Rattlers, hounding over his man. That's a beautiful back check ability made by Julian McCarthy, and he gives his man a rough ride into the boards. That was number 16 on the receiving end 
of a Julian McCarthy hit as he is one of the more physical players in this league, but he's also one of the more disciplined players. Turnaround shot by Frolov went up and out of play. I've played on the line with Julian McCarthy before back in our days of minor hockey and he plays the exact same way as he does right now. Hard, physical, never gives up on a puck. Always, always finishing his check and that's what made Julian McCarthy a presence to be reckoned with. Wasn't always the biggest player on the ice but he's one of the more noticeable players due to his physicality and his speed. Perhaps taking over from his father, Sandy McCarthy. That one got on route, a turn away shot was made by Ethan Matthew off the shot from Oleg Grishatov. Back in con the Civics, Nikita Sobolev was intercepted. Trying to string his man on a breakaway pass was Mansurov, but Florence Schaller was nowhere in reach, and so icing is called on the Rattlers once more with 6.44 time remaining. In this third period, Rattlers possess a 7-4 lead over the Civics from Newton. Photo on the faceoff, won by the Rattlers. Anthony Saris puts his man to the boards. After this contest between the Rattlers and the Civics, we'll be back on the air on our normal time. Sunday nights on ice at 7:30 for the at the Bradford West Goldenberry Arena as the Bradford Rattlers will take on the Bradford Bulls. Their first meeting this year as the Bradle, Brad, the Battle of Bradford. There's a tongue twister for you. Say that ten times fast. The Battle of Bradford will finally begin tomorrow night, 7.30, from this very arena we are calling this game from the Bradford West Goldberry Arena. Icing called once again on the Rattlers. The Bradford Bulls normally playing their home games at Bob Fallis Arena here in Bradford. I'd say, what, five minutes, if that, from where we currently are? But a five minute drive between both arenas. I've heard rumblings of, since this Bradford West Goldenberry Arena is a two sheeted ice arena, why not have the Bulls play behind where the Rattlers would play? But the Bradford Bulls do play most of their, all of their home games at the Bob Fallis Arena. Why not put them under the same roof? Why not? I don't make those decisions. I can make these ideas, but I can make the final decisions, folks. Oleg Grishatov peels in from his own zone. He's able to work his way through a maze of Civic players and stash his way around through. But Florence Schaller was there to pick up that interception off that stray puck. Alexei Ramier back on it for New Tech and try to string his men on a pass, but icing will be called on the New Tech Civics with 5.33 to go in the third period. 7-4 for the Rattlers. Felix Chernovaski and Alexei Brunetsky on the ice for defense for Rick Jackman's Bradford Rattlers. Face-off won by the Rattlers. A slap shot was blocked partially. Andre Mattes got it back down low to Ashikman. Again, we're sorry if the camera switches to the off-screen menu. We do apologize for that. Felix Chernovetsky got it to Alexei Brunetsky. Punched in on a one-handed effort by Vadim Frolov, native of Czech Republic. Andre Mattes, another Czech Republic native, Punch the back to Alexei Brunetsky. He is from Kiev, Ukraine. Out comes the Civics. They might have a two on one if they can hurry. The pass, the shot, the save, rebound. It got kicked back into the corner with a purpose by the right pad of Andre Brzezinski. That allows the Rattlers to get up on the ice. A Schickman with Matis. A Schickman holds, sauces it to Frolov. Toe drag move, trying to get around his bend, but it's slapped just wide of the cage. Battle along the half boards, drop check, takes it off, a quick shot, turnaround, rebound, it was loose for Ashman, Ash Schickman, pardon me. That one never got through. You're looking at Pavel Rodskov, the former Rattler, and Bancroft Rockhound with a second stint in green and yellow. Flip shot from Rain, channeled into the glove of Andre Brzezinski, and he will cover 
with 14-18 time remaining in this third period. Once again, want to thank everyone watching here tonight on this Saturday night on ice between the Civics and the Rattlers. 418 time remaining in regulation time. Bradford Rattlers trying to go 4 0 on the season. The Civics try to avoid going 0 8 on this season. A whipping effort to the front. That puck got elevated from a pass into the corner, but just squibbed over up top of the net. Took a carom and a funny bounce off the boards. And it finally gets out of play. And we got a foot race. Maxim Sigelnik played it to center. Touched up, but no offside was called. The Rattlers never had possession of the puck as the puck gained over the blue line. Dennis Nikolev played it to center. Picked off. Nice hand-eye coronation made by number 14, Anthony Asaris. Vladislav Kakarin, number five you see there for the New Tech Civics, lost an edge. Florin Schaller back after it played it for Maxim Sigelnik, couldn't get anything going there. Martin Nagy, try to play it to Schaller, diving effort and can't get it out. A lot of players seem to be hitting the deck this game thus far in this third period. Perhaps the ice has been worn out. Vladislav Kakarin. He gets a rough ride by Felix Chernobetsky into the boards. Puck gets whipped around for floor and Schaller. Schaller found his Ben Mansurov. And Surov has Nagy trailing with him. The captain Kornilov picks it up. Hitting the deck was Nagy. Pops right back up. The Rattlers with possession. Chernobetsky trying to find his band into the slot. Pardon me, into the neutral zone. And picking it off is Mansurov. Mansurov got it to the slot area. Nagy trying to work it down. It's loose for a brief moment. Suda rushes up to keep it alive. Daniel Suda shot it wide on the blocker side. Picking it up is 15, Dennis Kabanov. Kabanov to Nagy, trying to feed it into the slot. Kabanov back after it. A Civic player is down and slow to get up. And he is staying down. As I believe, I do not believe it was an injury. I believe it was a problem with the skate. Mansurov doing a lot of whipping and diving around his band from the Civics. Back down on the ice is Daniel Semenov. He might have some equipment trouble or maybe ailing an injury as he's finally able to get off into the ice, but that might cost him here. Rattler starting with numbers. It's Mansurov going wide, trying to play it to the slot area. It's chipped in by a nice slapping effort by Dennis Kabanov, but he shot it just wide of the mark. Puck kept into the zone by the Rattlers. They have a minute 40 to work with as the game clock reads under two to go. That puck got turned over. Dennis Kabanov for the Bradford Rattlers. You see 15 in white. Dennis Kabanov, the native of Moscow, played in under 18 teams in Russia. Formerly playing for the captain Stepino. The under 18 team in Moscow, Russia. Timeout has been called by the new Tecumseh Civics. So with 1.18 to go, timeout has been called. Head coach Rick Jackman, the former Stanley Cup champion with the Anaheim Ducks, will draw up a play for his boys in white to hold on to this lead they have over the New Tech Civics, which reads 7-4. to four. As it stands right now, the Rattlers looking very well, and it looks like they are on their way to a fourth consecutive victory. There we go, I got that one out. Civics looking to avoid going 0-8. I don't think that would sit well for anyone in the Civics organization. Timeout has been expired. Both teams fresh off their minds being tested here. A lot of plays have been drawn up by both sides as you can see from my vantage points. So looks like, let's see what team can execute their plan here in the dying moments 
of this contest. Safe to say this contest. We have a 2-on-1 developing for the Rattlers, but just unable to catch up to that puck was Frolov. As Schickman back on it with Atis heading towards the goal, Frolov back after. Within the final minute of this third period, puck was intercepted, trying to stroll his man, but he can't do so, was the captain, Mikhail Kornilov. Oleg Grichatov, the center. Andre Matas picks it up, has a Schickman trailing with him. Full love heading into the high slot. Isaris on the point, and Grichatov looking for the cherry picker player who was covering him quite well there. Rick Jackman shouting out, take a man, take a man. And that's what the Rattlers have to do defensively, pick up one player on the Civic's ice surface. Oh, pardon me, a Civic's player on the ice surface and take him and cover him and stay on him as the Rattlers just, just going to try to hang on as maybe as Schickman thought the net would have been empty, he just iced it down length the ice. That's not a bad play. That is not at all a bad play. Maybe he just thought there would have been an empty net to shoot out there. Spoiler, there is a goalie still in net, Ethan Matthew, who, never mind what the score says, he played unbelievable. If it wasn't for Matthew's performance here tonight, the score could have been a lot greater than just 7-4. to four. Kornilov plays it up into center, dumped in. Maybe one last chance here before the horn sounds, then a pad stop kicked out for the purpose by Alexei Bernetsky will conclude tonight's game as that will be the last play of this contest with the Bradford Rattlers going 4-0 to start this season. Got to give credit to Richard Huey. seated. Pardon me, number 29, Richard Cuey started the first period, allowing two goals. The native of Woodbridge, Ontario, played great as well. And coming into the second period and finishing this game was number one, Andrei Brzezinski, native of Moscow, Russia, able to secure the win for the Bradford Rattlers as they all convene into the blue line area of their rink. And six tapped on the ice and raised up high. It's Luke the Faithful here at the Bradford West Gwillenberry Arena. So the Bradford Rattlers will head off and so will we. So for Nick Stella and the Bradford Rattlers organization, we will bid you all a good hockey night for now.